Boy, do I love candy. Maybe the only thing I love more than candy is hitting an object filled with candy so that that object explodes and then spreads candy everywhere for all of my friends and me to eat. You know what? I think today it's time to make a piñata. Hey Barbara, it's time to go inside. We're gonna make a paper mache piñata. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Bob, come on. It's time to go inside and make a paper mache piñata. Barbara is here to help us out with the materials today. The materials we will need for our paper mache piñata. First, you're going to need a nice big bowl to mix your flour and water. And you're going to want to find something to mix with. A whisk is fantastic. And then you're going to be cutting up some newspaper into strips. You will be using a balloon to wrap your paper mache newspaper strips around. And if you have any tissue paper, to decorate your piñata with afterwards. The first step in making our paper mache piñata is to make our paper mache paste. In order to do this, I recommend having some sort of measuring cup, and you're going to mix two parts of water for one part of flour. For my next step, I'm going to use scissors and get my newspaper to cut the newspaper into one inch strips. I'm now going to choose a balloon here and I'm going to blow up that balloon in order for it to act as the structure At this point, you can certainly just use the balloon as your structure for your paper mache piñata. But I kind of want to cover up the end here, so I'm actually going to add a little attachment using this uh, recycled paper or cardboard. There's sort of a cone shape. Now that I've taped down all of the flaps coming off of the cardboard, I'm going to kind of position it onto my balloon. I'm going to use uh, tape to tape it down to the balloon. Well, I probably used more tape than I really needed, but I wanted to make sure that this cone was going to stick. After thinking about it a little bit, I thought, what's a unicorn without some ears? In order to do this, I cut out a little shape like this, a little triangle with some flaps on the edges, fold them over like so, put some tape on them, and there are my little ears. Last thing, I promise, what's a unicorn with a horn and ears without a nice long nose? So I'm going to use this long piece of cardboard and I'm going to make it into as wide of a circle as possible. Hey Bob, unicorn balloon structure coming at ya. Hmm. All right, so this part is going to get a little bit messy. So I would suggest you put down some newspaper and move my cord out of the way. I really need some AirPods. I'm going to dip my entire newspaper piece into my paper mache paste and I'm then going to use two fingers to draw out all of the paste and then I'm going to start, what, start applying these onto my structure. So to start, I'm going to put them all going in one direction. Squeeze these out. And 
I want to make sure that I put each of my strips of newspaper kind of overlapping just a little bit. The more layers I have, the stronger my structure is going to be. So I'm going to go for about two layers around the whole thing. Now, after doing one layer that overlaps a little bit, you are going to make one more layer going in the opposite direction to make your structure stronger. I have finished adding my newspaper strips to the structure. Um, there are about two to three layers of newspaper strips in any location. And when you feel around, you can feel if there is a spot that might need more, and you can add them where you think it might be a little thin. Now the last thing you want to do as it's starting to dry is you want to go around and push down any little edges of newspaper that might be sticking up. This will make the structure stronger and better looking. Next step is the waiting game. So I'm going to have to wait until this is totally dry. And while we wait, of course, there's still a lot to do because look at this mess that I've made. Please, please, please always remember to clean up after yourselves. I wasn't sure exactly how long it might take to dry. New shirt, new day, it took overnight to dry. I put it by the window here so it would get extra sun, but it is definitely hard to the touch. And now I'm gonna pop that balloon inside. Hello, Bob. I'm gonna pop the balloon inside and make a hole to put the candy in. I'm sorry I have to do this unicorn, but I'm gonna have to cut the back of your head open definitely get some adult supervision. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very sharp knife and I'm going to poke a hole that I could actually hear. That's the sound of the balloon shriveling up inside the paper mache. So now that I cut out a little hole in the back of my unicorn, that's where I can put all of my candy. Now I do want to close that hole, so I'm just going to take a few pieces of tape here. Of course, the last and maybe the most fun thing we need to do to our pinata is to decorate it. I'm going to decorate mine in two ways, using both paint and tissue paper to make about a two inch long strips. And on each strip, I'm going to cut some flaps. You can also pile them up cut them together. I've got some pink that I'm going to apply to the head of my unicorn and I'm going to use these white ones on the horn. I know that one great way to apply them is by painting on glue and then getting my strip and applying it in that way just like that. I had just enough pink tissue paper in order to cover the entire head. Pretty happy with how that turned out and I had more than enough to cover the horn. Now I'm going to be painting the snout, painting the ears, and somehow painting the eyes. Check it out, Bob, the finished product, the paper mache pink unicorn. What do you think? No, 
there aren't cat treats in it. There's candy. Pretty cool though, right? <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> All right, my wife thinks this looks like a pig with a horn, which I kind of agree. But it's my first one ever, and I'm pretty proud of it. I had a good time making it, and I hope you do too. If you want to turn it into a pinata that's being held up, just make a little hole at the end and swing away at it carefully with a broom or a stick. Until next time, see you later.